Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this video, what I want to do is run over the announcement from Todoist. And it must be Thursday now, so May the 5th, 2016, they announced their collaboration um, with the software tool uh, Slack, which is great because um, they both go in hand with each other. Obviously, Slack is for communication within Teams, and Todoist is task management with individuals and teams. So this kind of collaboration really did make some difference, I think. Um, and it's been a long-awaited one as well because what Slack have recently done is allowed uh, developers to add much more kind of, uh, you know, like functionality within Slack to be able to add and um, do certain things. So they've updated a blog post um, and I'm going to run through some of the features. But just to note, I'll include the blog post in the description because there's a, um, a certain link where you actually have to add it to Slack and authorize it to a spe specific team. Um, I've gone ahead and done that. I've actually um, authorized it for Productivity in Tech, which is a, um, basically it's a Slack community for uh, people interested in productivity and tech tools. So that is something that I'll include in the link in the description too, So, because I appreciate the, those guys allowing me to use a Slack channel. So as you can see, um, I've got Slackbot open, and for those who don't know, Slackbot is a direct message. Uh, um, it's it's basically like your private bot. Um, and as you can see, over time, they're going to start to add more bots to this uh, experience. So it kind of makes it more, you know, you are, um, sorry, AI sort of experience run. So as you can see, I've started adding some Todoist um, tasks. But all you do with Todoist is, is you simply type in slash Todoist. And as you can see, it comes up quite clearly there, slash Todoist. And you simply put the task. So it could be um, go for a run for five kilometers. Then what you can do is you can simply weave in a specific due date. So maybe Thursday... Let's put Thursday at 4.31 p.m. Let's say I want to put labels. And for those who don't know, labels are the ability to add certain, uh, certain context around a task. So let's say I want to do this for 10 minutes. So let's going to take this 10 minutes, although it's not going to. Let's say it's inactive for me. And let's say I need my PC to complete this, although that is not necessarily true with the run. Um, I could also add it to a project. But in this case, I'm just going to add it to the inbox. So as you can see, I've added the task, I've added the due date, I've added any labels that I need, and also attached it to a project folder within Todoist. If I press enter, what will happen is it will go into the kind of Slack bot feed, and it will indicate, go for a run for 5K, so it's captured the core elements of the task, it's inserted it into the project folder, inbox, given the labels relevant, which is great, and actually indicated when it's going to be scheduled for. So as you can see, um, very clear and consistent messaging. Uh, if I go over to my inbox on Todoist, I should see here, there we go, it's already synced. All of the labels attached, the task name, and the indication that it's on Thursday at 4.31. So that's pretty impressive, I think. Um, I think that they've got a lot of things to play around with here. This integration can be used instead of having to go over to um, Todoist all the time. Uh, I find that in my day that if I go over to, into Todoist all the time, I find tasks that I don't necessarily need to be doing in that given time. But whenever I'm in Slack, I might be um, you know, talking to someone. So let's say I've got uh, Jay in a chat and Jay asked me, Francesco, can you, uh, can you remind me next week of the, um, I don't know, uh, golf tournament? <laughs> then what I can simply do is in that chat, add that to do us. It is not only in Slack, but that you can do that. So that's quite valuable. Um, so you can get the context uh, within the specific chat that you're in. So that's quite interesting. I was really impressed when they launched this feature. I had to play around with it um, and I'll definitely be using it. I'll be integrating it in my uh, personal productivity stream for work and for um, any other things. Especially what's nice about it is 
as you can imagine, uh, let's say you're in a personal chat, only you can see the message, so it doesn't actually um, bother anyone else. Really looking forward to what Todoist and Slack do together. Um, impressive integration, uh, impressive use of the Slack bot and also other bots inside Slack. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.